Beam chaps and chapettes, Roger here. Welcome back to Ronin Blade. Last time, we forced her sister to kill her brother. Mainly because he was a psycho who may or may not have been affected by the whole soul bug thing. But yeah, we're back, same as last time in uh, Kataru's playthrough, to the zombie massacre level. Here we go. Come back here. Lynn, could you turn around? Thank you very much. Oh, learn a new special attack at least. Uh, what is it? Um, apparently, just press square over and over again. Then, for Christ's sake, can you turn the fuck around? Seriously, the guy's been standing there. That's that. You got. You basically made a zombie manage to get so bored he buggered off. Memory serves me right. I'm supposed to, or at least from the little walkthrough I looked at that one time I got stuck, it's supposed to be 300 in order to get a special item. How the And it's an invisible timer as well. There's no info, as far as I can tell, there's no information as to how long exactly you have. Halfway there. Okay, 150 odd, so m mostly there. I'm not entirely sure how some ancient Japanese, well, I'm presuming is some sort of fishing village, has 300 odd people, unlimited zombies. Was well, this going to be one of those instances where it's a case of there is the special item you can get, but the developers just sort of arbitrarily put down the timing. They didn't actually test it. I would not be surprised if that's the case. Because I can't remember what I got to with Kataro, but yeah, he was a lot slower. Okay, didn't mean to press that, but oh well, it happened. But he had much, he was slower, but he had much bigger sweeps. And considering most of the zombies do seem to come just straight to you, 200, come on, 100 to go. Oh, for fuck's sake, stand still. Oh, damn it, ran out of time. 228. Damn, that's going to be hard. Time I went home. Oh, did you just give up? Halfway through the zombie massacre. Piss. Because I remember reading up, because what you actually get is if you're Kataru, you get another fancy sword. But if you're Lin, you get unlimited basic shuriken. Which I don't know if that's going to be, like, really worth it or not, so I'm just going to save into a separate slot, just in case. Devouring the souls of evil ghosts and goblins, earthworms making cries. Yeah, it's not really going to get you laid at a poetry jam, is it? Despair! Hello, me old friend. Ruthless and efficient exterminator. No. I would much rather it just be a case of the zombies are really hard to kill and you can go to the 300 or you can run away. Oh no. Up to me. Oh, is this the Kataro meeting? I th think it might be. Yes, yes it is. Yeah, <laughs> yes, I've been standing right here for about 10 minutes. Have you heard about soul bugs? They're foul parasites that make monsters out of people. Those things have infected the entire thiefdom. You mean this one village? Those soul bugs took someone I love from me. Yeah, this is, they're playing the exact same scene again. This is all I have to remember him by. So you had to... Yes, here we... Oh, and this is where it gets a little bit weird, because now we know the other side. Snap out of it. Let me hold your biceps. It's my thing. Stop your sobbing. You're acting like a... Kid? Yep. But it didn't sink it so much as, I don't know, get it to smash itself on the rocks or something. 
but at least one thing with the whole plot is they're not just going to say, oh, she'll use the soul bugs to take over the kingdom. No, they're actually going to use gold as well, because at the very least you can say, here, here's a bar of gold if you come into this room and let this doctor do something. Okay. Bam, there you go, new soldier. Broken up over losing your man. Oh, I joked about it earlier, and now it's making it even worse than I thought. No, I'm still a kid. Oh, cop out. So, I'm guessing... Now I do the... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Because Katara went for the inside. Lin went from the outside. So, maybe I don't go the same route as Kataro. Okay. Oh, yeah, listen, and yeah, just about the whole brother thing. <laughs> yes. Ellipses is really the only response to that. Shin, please protect us. He could do that a lot easier if he hadn't exposed his... is everything, really. Right. So, now... Don't even know what half that crap is. Oh, have I actually got... Okay, I got three ointments, but that's it. Oh, dear. Right, well, those shuriken are bloody slow, but... Uh... Oh, hello. What are you? Gold frame glasses. Okay, well, you're a blue shiny thing, so I think you're important. And now what I'm torn up about is because with Kataro, we were able to go through the entire forest and down to Ganyu, through Raven Forest and down to Ganyu Beach. Uh, entirely optional. Entirely optional indeed. I mean, uh, there's little flying bat enemies? T totally optional. Totally optional indeed. So now, what I'm curious about is if I can do what, what, um, what Katari did, but with the dojo and the temple. Well, in that, you can see, you can see it on screen at the moment. I'll just zoom in slightly. That little house that's sticking out down at the bottom, that was the secret house. You know, we went in and there was all those weird, like, um, scratchings, like temple, path of shining light, blah de blah de blah I haven't actually been to the temple, so I think what I'll do is I'll try the temple first. Because there might actually be something there. Maybe. Actually, come to think of it, that was the tailor's, wasn't it? Can she get items as well? Uh, costumes, even. Oh the, oh, oh, the gold eyeglasses I literally just picked up. I'd be very grateful if you could turn them to me. Uh, yeah, sure. I was just going to sell them. Thank you, Garni. Can't thank you enough. Well, to be fair, uh, at this time period, glasses... Expensive and shit. I know what I can do to show my thanks. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so we've got standard flower girly sort of thing. Blue flower girly sort of thing. Actual proper ninja. Uh, I don't know. Oh, for Cruz's sake. Of course, it, it's Japan, so of course there's a school go outfit. Let's go for the actual freaking ninja outfit. If it was showing far too much thigh. But then again... This is the cliche ninja outfit, because think about it, ninjas were infiltrators. If you've literally, you can't be an infiltrator and have a uniform. It's literally a catch-22. You'll just slay them in. Oh, yeah, yes, you're funny, Mr. I don't know, Pratt. Right, now I can actually properly ninja it up. So let's just, let's just see if I can go to the temple. It might just be a case if I get another message saying, can't go to the temple, I've got shit to do. Can't, where the hell is the item? I can't, <laughs> I can't tell with this angle. But healing items, oh, gold, yes. Considering I never went in Kataro's campaign, you know, the Raven Forest and Ganyu Beach were in completely optional. It might actually be worth my while to go this way. Oh, come on, that was not even... That is not even close. I'm sorry, that is just... Fuck you. It won't open. Oh, yeah, of course. Hmm. Well, strictly speaking, that should be open and the Buddha statue should have been toppled as well. If we're going with these being two concurrent campaigns, which is what the style is sort of getting at. See? How close was he to that punch? Like, five feet away? Something ridiculous. Oh well, at least they're not doing massive amounts of damage. Okay, so I can't go to the caves. You know what, fair enough. That makes sense. Oh, poo, I missed a bit. Right, well that's the temple done. I got a few little bits and bobs, not much really. At least it proves I can go to these areas, so... Gonna head to the dojo next. And I have fully leveled up now, with fully leveled up now with the experience, so I've got 
those two shuriken things which I still don't know really how to do and that weird blade circle storm thing which I was able to do that one time in the zombie arena and the good old fashioned which I think I have figured it out now that that weird spin with the lighting effect behind it not the circle one I think that happens if I just hammer the square button oh shit but I've got some more foreign medicine which are still not sure if they're full heels or just big heels Either way, they are very handy indeed. Still, still nothing happened in the dojo, the, the temple at least. Or at least if there was, I totally bloody missed it. Aha! Definitely glad I come to the dojo now. For medicine, bombs. Could you stop dancing and pick up the bloody... Thank you. Oh, fuck. Well, that's what happens when you overestimate yourself. You waste bloody time. Right, so back after that little cock up. So I've done the temple and I've done the Dave's Dojo. I've come back here because I realized I missed something, which if you noticed earlier, one of the hints, hints in the little spy house was about a lamp. And there's a very, very obvious broken lamp here. And I just decided to give it a quick check and there's nothing here. Really, there's nothing here? Except there ain't, there's a helmet go letter. So, let's have a shifty and see precisely. Oh yeah, and I realised I wasn't using the sword, which I got from got from uh, Lin's brother. So that might be a reason why this last bit was a little bit harder. So where is it? Helmet? Uh, helmet. Oh, Ryuki, so many covers from shipment. There's a Tucker former ninja. Seek him at Benny the blacksmith shop in the village. Okay. Now, ah, here we go. Don't be bleeding long enough. Excuse me, are you the only blacksmith in this village? Indeed I am. Uh, my name is Lena Cody Note directed me to seek you out. A shogunate ninja? I've been waiting for you. And you're Taka. Indeed, though I've not been called that for years. Haltaze. This sword was revered by Shogun... Oh, Tokugawa. Don't know if that was the Tokugawa, I have no idea about names. Uh, then that sword is Rakio. It was on the transport ship. It's been removed by Hanzo and brought to me for safekeeping. Hanzo was killed by enemies of the Shogunate. I see. Lim, was it? Yes. There's nothing this, this old man could do. It is in your hands. I'll do my utmost to deliver the sword to the Shogunate. Wait, for the upcoming battle you'll need a better weapon, no? You are saying? You have my blessing to test the sword on the monsters. I may do that. Porting Tojo's evil designs get priority, nothing else matters. He's got a good head on his shoulders. Thank you, I'll treat it with the utmost respect. Farewell. Pleasant chap, thank you very bleed much. Right, so let's actually have a shifty of these. So obviously I've got lightning-ish blade. Oh, clearly I missed a sword. Rakio, is a purpose of... Okay, excellent sharpness. Okay, what's... That's good shot. Okay, so that's a... Yeah, I want to give that a shot just because it is more powerful. I don't know about the whole soul drinking thing. If that means you regain health by using it, oh, sign me the fuck up. Right, let's... Oh, yeah. Having the sword out might help. Okay, three hits. Not bad. Okay, down in two. Death on three. Let's try against one... Oh, God, I hate these Poland bastards. No, down in three. I'm very glad I did that. That seems to be quite a bit faster as well. All round a good time. Okay. So just pop back to the Buddha statue in the town square to save. Yeah. Can I? Can I go down into the caves after all? Anything? No, okay, just saving. No, fair enough. Either way, thanks to that sodding death and all that backtracking, I have completely lost time of where the hell we are with this recording. So we're going to head to the... Head up to the castle and for the last fight next time on Ronin Blade. So, for the moment, thank you very much indeed for watching this silly little video of mine. If you enjoyed it, have a little look at the channel. See if there's anything else I've done which takes your fancy. If so, have a little look at Barmies, Barmies, my friend. Subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, please be wonderful to each other. Good night.